I so hope Trump goes to jail and his first stint in jail is at the Fulton County Jail because that jail is known to be very horrible and Trump deserves to be in one of the worst jails possible. ...out of Fulton County, Georgia, signaling the potential for a blockbuster trial. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reporting, top senior Trump officials are included on the prosecution's nearly 200-person witness list. Among those names, former Attorney General Bill Barr, who Trump called a coward during an event last night. Steve Bannon, who Trump called the greatest BSer last night as well. And former Vice President Mike Pence, who we all know Trump said to hang. Yeah, Trump, Trump likes to project he is one of the biggest BSers and biggest cowards out there. And yeah, he did uh, support his uh, base calling for Trump, I mean not Trump, but Pence, to be hung because he wouldn't go along with uh, what Trump wanted. But there was a call by Trump to Pence uh, where Trump said, he wouldn't be friends with Pence if Pence didn't claim that the election was stolen, which is so childish. And in an exclusive new reporting in The Guardian by my next guest, previously unreported emails suggest the prosecution is dropping pretty obvious hints at its end game for some of the defendants in the Georgia RICO case. While communicating with the attorneys for the remaining RICO defendants, Fulton County DA Fonny Willis writes, quote, We have a long road ahead. Long after these folks are in jail, we will still be practicing law. The operative word there being jail. Joining me now is Hugo Lowell, political investigations reporter at The Guardian. Hugo, as always, it's so good to have you here. Let's start with your exclusive reporting about those emails. That's kind of a dicey energy going on between Fonnie Willis. You know, kudos to her for standing up against a, a complete flank of attorneys. But to her point, and, and this actually dovetails with your other exclusive reporting, no plea deals for the kind of top lieutenants to Donald Trump. So is she just laying the table or setting the table for just total hostilities there? Well, these people don't deserve any plea deals. They should get the full uh, strength of the law. Uh, thrown at them and given as much as possible. I think it was a particularly aggressive email chain and I think it was, I think the defense counsel saw it as presumptive, but I think it gives you an idea of the kind of end game that the DA's office is envisioning in this case. They clearly intend to take it to trial. They clearly intend for some defendants, as you say, to not be given plea deals and to see it all the way through to the end. You know, we had previously reported that Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and Mark Meadows were among the people uh, who the DA's office was not interested in pursuing plea deals with. And if you kind of think about that and you think about the latest email in which they're saying, well, we expect jail sentences in this case, it kind of suggests that those are the candidates they expect to send to jail. And then kind of the next kind of logical question to you, you and I obviously in court following the case in Fulton County, um, very detailed. We've been waiting for a trial date from Scott McAfee. Our viewers have been waiting for this trial date. Do you think the fact that she has announced no plea deals for Trump, Meadows and Giuliani would actually help inform the decision as to when a trial date gets set? We had heard privately, according to our sources, that the DA's office had privately told the judge, Scott McAfee, that you know you should maybe delay setting trial dates or setting schedules quite just yet because we might be getting more plea deals. You know, this was a month or so ago, and so I think there are a lot of moving parts. Man, they should be uh, trying these people as soon as possible. Don't give any of these people a plea deal in terms of uh, a potential trial date. I think the other thing that was interesting is we do have a proposed trial date. You know, the district August said- August 2024. We want an August trial date. We want plea deals to end July. That still gives them a lot of time to secure additional witnesses who might want to flip and cooperate for the state. So let's shift gears. Let's talk about the fact that tomorrow is supposed to be the last witness on behalf of the defense in the New York civil fraud case being prosecuted by the attorney general, Letitia James, that star witness being Donald Trump, maybe a star only in his own mind. That limited gag order from Justice and Goran having been put back into place. My theory is the gag order itself doesn't prevent Donald Trump from testifying. It just prevents him from saying horrible, violent, nasty stuff about Justice and Goran's staff.
do you think Donald Trump's going to testify tomorrow? I think we should expect him to testify tomorrow. I mean, I don't know how long it will be. Um, you know, when he previously testified, uh, when he was being questioned by the New York AG's team, it was a lot of Trump infomercial. It was a lot of, oh, you know, we were going to build on these properties anyway, and that's why, you know, we inflated these values, which, by the way, is not standard accounting practice, as you know. So uh, that was, I think, a specious argument. But he also had a lot of uh, attacks for the judge and, uh, and attacks on the case while he was on the stand. And I think it will be interesting tomorrow, because if he does testify, because he will be precluded from saying anything that goes towards uh, you know, the judge, the court staff, as he, he probably wanted to do. And I think he will have to be much more restrained. And I wonder how much that affects him personally. And I